what's happening, Johnny Snow in the building, and um, I'm on the way to go pick up this new shotgun. This is going to be a JTS M12 AK T1. All right, and uh, we're going to open it up, see what it's what it's working with and everything. First, I got to go get it from the store. So, uh, you guys ride with me way up into this store. All right, we done made it up here. And then go on up here and uh we up here at Ed's gonna see see what's happening up in here at Ed's. Alright, I done picked my gun up, about to take it back to the lab, open up the box, yeah, uh, and then show everybody uh this JTS M12 AK dash T1. What's happening? This is Johnny Snow back in the building. Like I said, we're going to go ahead and open this JTS. Uh, it's a JTS M12 AK T1. All right, this is a Chinese made uh, AK pattern shotgun imported by JTS Imports. All right, so I'm going to compare this gun to my Comrade 12 and for those of you who don't know, this is the box that the Comrade 12 comes in. They give you this case, and there she is in all her glory, Comrade 12. And here, let me just sit that up there so you can take a look at it. That's the Comrade 12. Now, let's see what this JTS working with. Yo, and you know, we're gonna see because the, this JTS is a uh, whole lot less expensive than the comrade so we're gonna see exactly what we working with so this is the box open and let's see all right we got that we got the little thing on it we have the product certificate and Got all the all the manuals and stuff in there, and let's see. It comes with a couple of magazines. All right, we have a couple of five-round magazines, five-round magazines. All right, it's pretty cool. And here is. The weapon. Let me go ahead and pull it on out of here and move this box out of the way. It'll probably go on the wall here <laughs> pretty soon. All right, so here we go. We have the JTS M12, and uh, they have a couple of different versions of this. This is the T1 version that comes with the M lock rail on it and the pick rail up top. This is a more tactical version of it. And let's see, this thing has a, uh, supposed to have a bolt hold open on it. Let's see if that, there it is. All right, so yeah, it has a little button down here that holds the bolt open. So, it's a nice gun. It has a oh big you know mag drop on it. And here, let me get this thing off. All right, there we go. And let's go ahead and see how these magazines go up in here. Boom! There it is with the mag in it. And. There's the mag falling out. And this is something that I wanted to do right off the bat. I wanted to see if my 10 rounder from my, my comrade will fit in here. And it does not. It does not fit in here, which is fine because I have a 10 rounder on the way anyway. So, you know, let's 
put these right beside each other and see what we're working with. Like I said, the Comrade was a lot more expensive than this JTS. Let me move this box over to the side. All right, so there we go. Uh, of course, with the Comrade, I have my have my um, angled foregrip on it. <laughs> That's what we'll call it. An angled foregrip. I have the angled foregrip on it. So, Comrade does not have a bolt hold open on it, um, but the bolt is held open with the safety. We have the safety catch on it to hold it open. And uh, let's see, I have the the optics rail um, on the side here where you can put an optics rail on it. The JTS does not have that on it. Uh, the JTS, of course, like I said, has this super wide mag release. And uh, the Comrade, the mag release is nothing like that. Nothing like that. And, um, you know, as far as the fit and finish of this, it is put together real good. It is definitely put together real good, and yeah, I like this, I like this. And um, of course, I'm not gonna leave it like this. Got a couple of things I'm gonna do to it, and uh, we actually do not have a threaded barrel on here, but there are ways around not having a threaded barrel. Uh, it does have uh, a choke in it, so turn it into a threaded barrel very easily and I'm not going to take it down right now but of course it goes down just like a standard AK you push it pop the dust cover off of it and um, you know it has a ribbed dust cover on it ribbed dust cover and uh, let's see what we have here on the side it says it was made in I'm not even going to try to pronounce that <laughs> in China and um, imported by JTS in Katy, Texas Katy, Texas so this is just a real quick overview of the new shotgun as far as fit and finish go they did a very good job of putting it together it's, solid it feels solid i like the sturdiness of it and um you know it's very comparable as far as that's concerned with the with the comrade and uh we'll see as far as how it shoots here pretty soon and um you know we'll we'll definitely get our comparison going yeah and uh here hit me up uh the comrade probably cost about a thousand dollars more than this one so you know you can get this uh, JTS and save about a thousand dollars, or if you got an extra thousand to spend, go ahead and get the Comrade. So that's the that's about the price difference. Uh, well, you know prices change every day, so you know who knows. You know I, I I'm not sure exactly what the Comrades are going for now. I remember at one point you had to pay about three grand to get you one, but that was on Gun Broker and people had lost their mind. You know, because you couldn't buy them at the store or anything like that. But, uh, you know, just about a thousand dollars difference between these two weapons. So we're going to uh, get them out to the range and see what the big difference is. So be on the lookout for that video. We're going to go ahead and light some stuff up. All right. Thank you for watching. And uh, make sure you hit that subscribe and notifications. And hit me up in the comments and let me know which one you think is the better one which one you like better as far as comrade being a short one with pistol brace on it and the jts being a you know a full size with a stock on it and you know just just hit me up let me know your thoughts all right johnny snow up out of here